Good morning. This is Tabu Winslow Morris from Triumphant Athletic Agency. I founded my agency January of 2013. Some of you on social media remember my portfolio when I start sending it out. I sent it out across the country. I sent it out. It went as far as Czechoslovakia, where I had a, a basketball prospect that was considering coming into the NBA, but he decided that he wanted to go into the Asian market and I wasn't prepared to represent him in the Asian market. So I sent my portfolio all the way to Czechoslovakia. Believe that? Yes. He's a friend on my Facebook page now. However, I was not able to help him and he is a professional NBA, a professional player over in that country. I believe he's still in Czechoslovakia, I'm not 100% sure. However, this is not about him. This is about business espionage. Since 2013, I've had some enemy um, that have been attacking me through social media and it's unbelievable. I am coming to you live today. I'm broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, Park at South Green Apartments. And I'm doing this because I've gone to the FBI here at um, the, five, the Cyber Crimes Unit. Um, I spoke to Agent Janet. I'm not going to use her last name. Um, I'm not going to do that. But her first name is Agent Janet. And she works also with the Houston Police Department. I sat down with her um, around, it's been probably about two months now, um, with her and two other fellow FBI agents at the headquarters here. And I went to them out of total frustration. I mean, total, total frustration. I'm even more frustrated now today than I went to them before. I went to the Houston Police Department two years ago in 2015. Is that, well, it's three years now. I went to them first in 2015. I went to the Pearland Police Department in 2014. I've had someone who has been following me around, following me around and doing such harm to me. They've caused me not to get jobs. They've caused me not to get contracts. And it is an extreme case of business espionage. When I go to law enforcement, Ms. Janet told me that I have to prove my case. The last conversation we had, which was on Monday um, of this week, is 20, it was November the 26th of 2018. And she suggested that I take my laptop and have a forensic analysis done of my laptop. I called a company and he said, they charge anywhere around $100,000 for forensic analysis. I can't afford $100,000. I probably could have, if I didn't have this extreme case of business espionage. This person has impersonated me in the city government here. They have impersonated me in activities with the Republican Party. They've impersonated me even with the Democrat Party. They've repers they have impersonated me in school. I had some woman following me around HISD when I was a teacher at HIST, associate teacher, and then an hourly lecturer. She was following me around and harassing me on it. If I, if I wasn't in one school, they would tag my, um, my, my um, ASAP and change my ASAP for me to go one place. And then she would go the place that I was and try to see if she could fool the students to see if that was Mrs. Morris from yesterday. Or I would come behind her in an assignment and they want to see if she's Mrs. Morris from the other day. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. They are able to um, intercept my cell phone and make calls, counsel, you know, answer calls, dismiss calls. I was on the phone with one of my cousins, Shirley, who's in South Carolina, and me and her was talking on the phone. We were just gabbing, 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 and we were disconnected. This crazy person disconnected 
me and my cousin Shirley from South Carolina on our personal conversation. She called me back. She said, what happened? I said, did you hear what I heard? She said, girl, this is the devil is a liar. I said, it sure is. I said, I've been reporting this and no one's doing anything about this woman being on my cell phone. I wrote the chairman, the CEO of Verizon. I talked to the president's office. They had someone contact me. I told the woman, I said, look, if you try calling me back, this woman may intercept the call and you may not even talk to me. I said, this is how good they are. She says, well, this, this is not a crime. I say, why isn't it a crime? I say, it is a crime. She says, well, you have to go to law enforcement. That's why I ended back up at the Houston Police Department. And I had to wait almost two months from the time that I went to them in June, I think it was originally. No, it was August, went to them. It was a whole month later that I finally got to somebody to talk to. And they gave me Miss Janet, who is a, a agent, Miss Agent Janet and Officer Janet, because she has two hats she wears. I can't get these people off my computer, off my cell phone, I have been out looking for contracts, looking for jobs. I lost, my contract ended with Houston ISD at the end of the school year, which basically the contract, I was told the contracts go until August. So even though I stopped work in May, my contact, my contract was ended in August when school went back, because that's how the contracts go. I didn't know that. No one informed me that. Anywho. So I've been looking for another assignment since May. I started in April. I went to an Anjuk Fair at Alvin Community College. And there were people there that they dispatched, whoever this crime family is, they dispatched a group to come follow me to this event. I get there and some woman that I actually ended up meeting, thanks to a friend of mine who told me about this event, who was there, came and she told the people that this that's not Miss Morris. She is a teacher in an elementary school at Houston ISD. I have never met this woman before. I was so outraged to hear that this woman said, this is not Miss Morris, that when my friend came over, I said, you know that lady over, she said, hey Tabu, I said, hey. She said, you know that lady over there, I told her that lady over there, just said that it's not me. I don't know why, I don't even know her. She said, oh, I know her, let me introduce you to her. So she walks me over, we walk over together, and we talk. And I said, I've never met you before. She's like, yeah, I, I, thought, you, I thought you said that I wasn't Mrs. Morris. And she, she didn't say, she's like, well, I haven't met you. I say, exactly, I'm not, but I am Taboo Winslow Morris. So we cleared that era right then and there. However, I didn't get the job at um, Alvin, and I don't know who she thought I was. Now, I also had a, an, an assignment with Kelly Educational Department over in Katy, and it was a, um, I forget what school it was. I don't remember what charter school it was, but it was a charter school. And they thought I was Miss Johnson. I was like, Miss Johnson? I'm Miss Morris. I, I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. And I'm not married. <laughs> so I don't know who you're talking about. So I was like, okay, I thought it was interesting. But I, I mean, I had a great day that day. The kids were really good. It was an elementary school. They were fantastic. I really did. I got lost getting there. Really lost getting there. Um, but they were a fantastic group of kids. I just was surprised they were calling me Mrs. Johnson. I'm like, I'm not Mrs. Johnson. I've never, I, I don't even think, I've never even dated a Johnson. Nope, I've never even dated a Johnson. And can I think if I've ever been interested in one? Hmm, not here in Houston. I've never been interested in a Johnson here in Houston. But I have a very good friend, a very good pastor friend, who is a Johnson. But he's not, he's not related to this Johnson that they were talking about. I'm almost positive he's not. However, I have been out of work looking for a job since April.
since that event. I worked for, through May at the Houston ISD, contract ended, and I started looking for work. I started looking for work all summer. It's been six months, people, that I've been trying to find sustainable income, wherever it's through Triumphant Athletic Agency, wherever someone hires me as a contractor or um, comes on board with my agency um, as a business, if it's for a business um, consulting fee, whatever it is, I have been trying so hard to get sustainable income. It is unbelievable. In the last six months, I have literally almost lost my apartment every month. It's been Jesus who have blessed me. It's been all of you that have come out to support me at the business, at my sales and sales and signing event, your get yours, book signing and sales event. It's been you that has helped me bridge the gap. Now, I don't have any other um, events scheduled yet. I've reached out to people. I haven't heard anything back, but I need a roof over my head. Why should I have to return to Baltimore, Maryland to be successful? For four years, I've had these people doing this. Four years. Why should I have to return back to Baltimore, Maryland to be successful? This is the United States of America. We're supposed to have our dream, remember? Everybody else wants everybody else to have their dream, including those that, you know, you know, I'm not even going to go there. Everybody deserves their dream. If you work hard, you shouldn't have someone who can illegally attack you through cyber and not be locked up. Not only attack you, but they've been stealing contracts. And, you know, everyone say, well, that's hypothetical type of rule. That's what the police officers tell me. Every last one of my reached talk to. That's hypothetical. We need proof. Well, analyze my computer. I don't have $100,000 so that you can get proof. They've tried to steal my manuscript, my 15 books. They've been, I mean, they've stolen contracts from me. They've stolen jobs. They've actually sent other people to jobs I applied to using my information, my application, and they sent other people in for interviews because they were able to asset, uh, they were able to um, intercept my emails. I didn't even know I had an interview. I didn't even know I was supposed to be there. I would have came. I needed the job. So I did a, uh, I, I finally decided I was going to do a, a, um, a campaign, a capital campaign for my business to see if someone would be willing to reach out and help someone that has blessed other people. I'm struggling, guys. I really am. But for three years of my business, I represented potential athletes um, without charging them a dime because that is what the NFL requires. I didn't charge them not one dime, one dime. I self-funded my company. Everything I've done, basically I've self-funded it. I've been working and putting money into my business and doing my business and working, doing my business. That's what a small entrepreneur does. That's what we do. And I don't understand why people don't understand that. I can work for you and be an entrepreneur as well. Believe me, I mean, I will give 100% while I'm on my job getting paid for whoever it is. If it's a 1099 job or if it's regular employment, I'm going to give 100% of my time while I'm being paid to work for you. That is a promise. When the time clock clicks off and I click on to my entrepreneurship, spirit and I'm representing my agency, Triumphant Athletic Agency, I'm going to represent you 
with 100% of my time. Believe me, the 14 athletes that were in upon the, under my agency will tell you I'm outstanding. I really am. The business customers that I represent will tell you Miss Morris is outstanding. She does her job. She don't play games. If you give her a project scope, she's on it. She's on it just like that, quickly. I don't play games because time is money. And when you waste time in business, you lose money. These people have wasted my time. They have tried to steal my company. They've tried to steal my identity. They have harassed me. They've threatened my family members. They've stolen money by, you know, by impersonation from friends and family members. They've lied to them. They even told them at one time I was dead. I am very much alive. Do you see? I'm very much alive. Please help me with my GoFund Angel Fund Investor campaign. $5, $10, $15, $20, whatever you want to give. The minimum on GoFund is $5 unless you see me in person. You see me in person, you want to give me $3, you want to give me $2, you want to give me a dollar. I'm not going to put my nose up at it because every penny matters. Every penny counts. I really need your support. I've been homeless before and I never want to be homeless again. Please help me. 1099 job contractual job, full-time employment, adjunct position, leadership role, executive, assistant, whatever hat you want me to wear that's godly and that will pay my bills, I want. <laughs> Come underneath of my agency. I'm outstanding at marketing. I'm outstanding at human resources. And believe me, I'm very good at public relations. I'm certified to do those jobs. Come on, let's play ball and win. Help me catch the criminals. Let's put them behind balls so they won't, behind bars, so they won't have to do this, so that no one else will have to go through what I've been through. Let's play ball and win, guys. This is Taboo Winslow Morris from Triumphant Athletic Agency, broadcasting live here from Houston, Texas, park at South Green Apartments. Not sure where I will be in February, but I can tell you I'm here now. Let's play ball and win. Thank you.